Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'm sharing different ways I've done some color swatching. Several months ago, Catherine Pooler released several stamp sets and a die set, items you can use for color swatching. I love using Catherine Pooler inks, so I did purchase the items when they were first released, didn't have time to do the ink swatching until later. Several of the sets are specific to Catherine Pooler inks, but a couple of them you could use with other ink brands. There's one die set, this is called Ink Swatch Tag Die. And this would be fun to use for sentiments on cards, doesn't have to be for ink swatching. The stamp set that would work with any ink brands is called Color Swatch. There are several solid shapes, so this is perfect for stamping your ink colors. The set also includes different color grouping words, monochromatic, analogous, complementary, and several others. So if you like to group your colors that way, you can label them with the stamps. The next stamp sets are specific to Catherine Pooler ink colors. This set is called Ink Families. When Catherine Pooler first released her inks, she would do it in groups and she had different names for the groupings. The last three stamp sets include all the individual ink names. The small set is called Neutral Colors, then there's Party Colors and Spa Colors. And all three of the sets also include some small solid images. Now, since these were released several months ago, they do not include the brand new ink colors. The new pink color Cotton Candy was released, I think last month or maybe the month before. And she just released a new green called With an Olive and a really pretty blue called On the Lake. I've already ordered mine and I can't wait to use them. Years ago, I did some ink swatching. I simply stamped on some solid cardstock, but the problem was I didn't leave any space for new colors. So I wanted to find a different way where I could easily add in all the new colors. I've done two different styles of ink swatching. The first style, I used some binder rings. I have one large ring, it's about three inches, then I have several smaller one inch rings. On each of the rings, I separated the different colors. So here's the first one with all the pretty pinks. I use both of the dies in the Ink Swatch tag set. I don't want the tags to easily rip from the metal rings, so I did use 120 pound cardstock. I have all of the colors separated on different rings. I can easily remove one of the rings with the colors if I need to compare it to some pattern paper or cardstock I'm using. I currently have the inks in the same order as my full size ink pads. So now when Catherine Pooler releases new colors, which she will, it'll be easy to create a new tag and simply pop it in with the right colors. And of course, this is something you can do with all ink brands. I've also done some ink swatching and I'm storing them in a six by eight inch binder. The binder is something I've had on hand for a few years and it wasn't being used, so I thought this would be perfect, but you can also purchase six by eight inch binders at scrapbook.com. The page protectors are from scrapbook.com. When I saw them, I knew it'd be perfect. There are 12 pockets on each page and they're two by two inch squares. I used the same solid oval shape, stamped out all of the colors. I also used the ink name stamps and I stamped them above the colored ovals. I'm keeping all of the color grouping separate. I will use the front and back page, but currently there are only a few colors that have more than 12 shades. The set of page protectors includes 10 sheets and I did purchase several packs. I wanted to make sure I have plenty as new ink colors are introduced. Although I think it would take a long time for me to fill all of the page protectors I purchased. So with some of the extra sheets, I'll be doing more ink swatching, this time using my Ranger Distress Oxide inks. I have some random ink pads from other companies, 
but currently Catherine Pooler and Ranger Distress Oxide inks are the only brands where I have every single color. I realize this is not a unique idea. Lots of people have been doing ink swatches this way for years and years, but this is the first time I've tried it and I wanted to share it with you. If you are interested in the products I showed in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. If you've done a different style of ink swatching, leave a comment, I'd love to know about it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.